All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Kinchy Rednecks. And today, because this channel is actually supposed to be about doing things in Korea, we're going to do a thing in Korea. Ooh. So one of the greatest things about Korea, and arguably even more so about Japan, but that's a whole different subject, convenience stores. They're very convenient here. Yes, yeah, or I, uh, I know in Japan they're called con conveni. I think it's kombini in, in, in Korean, mm -hmm. but I could be wrong. Anyway. What we're doing today is we're gonna walk over to one of our local convenience stores. The GS25. Yeah, there's there's several big name ones. There's uh, the 7-Elevens, there's CU24s, there's Mini Marts. There's some other random like various. There's like the 24. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. But well, one of the most common you'll find is the GS25. Um, and it's probably the biggest one of the local ones we have here. So we're going to pop over there and see if they will let us uh, take some video inside. We're going to look at the magical world of Korean snacks and hopefully doshirak. Yeah. Which is like the dinner boxes. Yeah. So let us walk. So, as we're walking here, uh, Korea has a tendency to do these very... Um, Non-OSHA approved staircases. I was going to go with aesthetic, um, but not entirely safety regulated staircases. Not disability helpful staircases. Yes. Yeah. So, so I go very slow. Be careful not to like fall down and die on one of these things. They're quite painful. You've fallen down and died on one of these? Yes. Twice, oh, actually. Twice? Dang. We're gonna walk over to the 25, which is right over there. It's like a block away because it's convenient. For a convenience store, it's extremely convenient. Yes. yes. The guy was nice enough to tell us we could video. So we're over here in the food section. So unlike most convenience stores in America, these sandwiches, you can eat them and not get food poisoning and die. They're relatively fresh. So they've got like some kimbap. They've got the triangle kimbap, which is some got kimbap. Some got kimbap. Rice wrapped in seaweed with veggies in the middle of it. Sure. So that's the basic combination for kimbap. So oh, yeah, some, this stuff. It's got a pitcher on it. Some salads. We got some salads. We got some uh, john. John. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of a Korean pancake. We got some soups. We got Burrito. some burritos. Some pastas. All right, so stuff that you don't normally find in convenience stores, or at least I don't normally find in convenience stores in the States. I mean, yeah, everybody has batteries. Well, but they'll have chargers. Here's some chargers and some <laughs> some baby oil and some nail supplies and some shaving stuff and masks. Masks. That's a new thing. Lately, everybody has those. Um, no, the thing you don't normally find is right here. Oh, yeah. So this is a thing. Like, you get your women's panties, your women's socks, your men's trunks. Right. You, you, so you can, buy, you can buy clean socks and drawers yeah. in the convenience store. Yeah. Now, I Next know... Next to your wine and liquor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I do know, remember when we were in Okinawa, we were at a, uh, a Lawson's, uh -huh. um, and they had actual, like, but, um, button-down shirts. Yes, they did. And ties. Yeah. And my cousin, who was stationed there at the time, uh, told us that that was for if you were out drinking and you were like so late that you had to go to work and you were still wearing yesterday's clothes, yep. you could stop in the store, buy a clean shirt and tie and go to work. But here we only offer... Here it's just the drawers. Drawers, trunks, pa briefs, panties, socks. So you do have a little bit of a alky hall section over here. Some Jaeger. There's some Absolute. Gym, some Absolute. Jameson. Malibu Lime. <laughs> Soju by the... Is that a two liter or one and a half liter? I don't know, it's a big bottle though. Oh, 1.8 liter. There we go. Yeah, here's some jerky. Jerky's good. But this ah, is the one yeah. you wanted. Yeah, the light blue is the original, you the dark one? blue is the... Um, sure. Okay. So, you got your beer cabinet. You got your mm. smaller cans and your, your soju, soju and, and your... Um, Macaulay. Macaulay. Yes. And then you got sodas. Korea's got a... A lot of sodas. A lot of interesting stuff. There's some sparkling peach aids and some... I think that one's mango. I think it's mango. Some normals, you know, you got your your Sprite and your Coke and and you got other stuff like Sak Sak. Yes. Sak Sak's a, a grape drink that actually has pulped grape at the bottom of it, which is really weird if you're not expecting that. Would Energy like, drinks, mogu mogu. Would you like a mogu mogu? We've got lychee and aloe vera, leech, yogurt, pineapple, peach, 
I'll take a lychee aloe vera. Do you want a regular regular one too or no? Um, nah, that's good for now. Okay. Oh, the, oh, they're in there, they're just, okay. Yeah, the aloe vera is very clear. Just like if the energy drinks here. Yep, energy drinks. Get your canned coffee. So this is something you don't yeah. see a lot of in the States. Yeah, the canned, the, the, the canned coffee stuff is huge in Korea. There's stacks of it. Yeah, you get your... Actually, this is one of the most orderly ones I've seen. A this lot of them wind really up being orderly. a... Uh... Oh, there's a watermelon. But yeah, Korean soft serve. Those little soft serve ones are good. There's uh, this one, which reminds me of a uh, one that rhymes with nutty uddy that I'm not going to name. That was, Do you really, want, that was a really terrible one. <laughs> you want one of those? Hmm? Ooh, nope. There we go. We're getting. Ooh, what is that? Cantaloupe? We're getting melon ice and watermelon ice. Ooh, melon ice and watermelon ice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you got your, your snack aisles. There are the mini, mini chips and things of different flavors. Ooh, garlic baguettes. These shell shaped snacks. I can't remember what the Korean name for them is at the moment. Those things are money. Those are one of the greatest snacks in Korea. These caramel corn balls are pretty good too. Yeah, those are good. Then you get the fun bit of seeing things that are utterly familiar, but not familiar because they're in Korean and have different logos on them. More snacks. Itty bitty little Pringle cans. And they serve chicken. <laughs> Their chicken is actually used pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we were we haven't had lunch yet. Right. So, so we were gonna grab something to eat. So we got some some ramen bowls. We got some. What is this? That looks like some sort of. Looks like a jajangmyeon sort of. Looks like like a jajang and takoki one. Jajang tok. That looks that looks like it might be a sundae taco. So normally we would grab like one of these meals over here, but yeah, normally like some meals over here, but we've, we've either we've missed that part. We've either come too early or too late for the the restock. So we're looking at what else is in here. And that's one of those blood sausage. For oh sure. yeah, that, that's sundae. That's the blood sausage. Not overly fond of that one. That's the uh, the chukbo. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's like chukbo. Which is pig's trotter. It's not the actual foot. It's like the the, the calf. I want to try that like. From real, a, you want to try a real one first? What is this? That looks. That looks pretty good. That looks red. <laughs> you like my answer to that? <laughs> All right. So back here we have some other oh, options. Yes, as well. other stuff. We got more instant like microwaveable stuff. Got your stuff. coffees. Yeah, more coffees. Ooh, I need one of these. I'm out at work. You should have told me. Oh, I just ran out yesterday. Okay. Grilled mushroom cream soup. These uh, uh, bone soup stocks. I think that's a galbi tang spicy sausage stew with tuna. Ooh, I don't like the one with tuna. Regular sausage stew is good though. Ooh, spicy beef soup. Yes. These things are great by themselves. They're just kind of a soup base. Um, but you throw a little bit of meat in it, some couple of vegetables, you know, spend five minutes it's good doing stuff. some prep work and you can make a half decent bowl of soup. I'm almost voting that we check out another one just so we have some Doshirak options. Yeah, we might have to try and hit the CU on the way home, see if there's any more Doshirak. Okay. And then more coffees. This is the cold coffee section. Yep. And then you got your milks. Your and flavored your milks. Banana yogurts. milk. If you're in Korea, try the banana milk. Then you've got it's, your it's required. Dessert section here. Yep. Here's some more ice cream and some other frozen. You can get frozen mandus and. You get spam fried rice. Spam fried rice. All right. Is this good for here? All right. Yeah, that should be good for here. All right. We either missed the uh, restock or they haven't restocked. So we either we were either too early or too late, but there's not really much of a selection for the Dushirak. But we we were trying to grab a late lunch basically because yeah, we much. thought that you know that would be the best opportunity so, so if the cu doesn't have it we'll just grab i guess some ramen or some other options there and see what they have right so we're walking to the 
other side of our apartment building over there to go to the CU. So here we are in the CU24, which is gonna be much the same as the GS25, but if you'll notice, the, this is a much smaller store. So here's our cookie aisles, here's our ice cream, and here's our drink cabinet in the back. We're gonna swing around here and look, ooh, they actually got some doshi rack up. All right. Either of those so, interesting to you? So the one with the meat is usually pretty good. I like that one. Um, what's that one got? That's spam and rice mm -hmm. and beans mm -hmm. and looks like chicken. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want? Not that one? The beef and chicken one. Okay. That's just a thing of mandu. We can throw that in the microwave. Mandus. Uh, and that one's, oh, bulgogi and rice. So either bulgogi and rice or... Looks like some sort of hamburger steak and random stuff. I'd say the bulgogi and rice is probably safer. Okay. So here's our CU, <laughs> CU24. And one thing you will note about a lot of Korean places is they have these little tables set outside of the convenience store. That is because Korea has no open container law. So you can walk in there. And drink your beer. Buy you an adult beverage come out here, sit down and drink it. So here we are, we've got our stuff. So we'll throw a picture up real quick to tell you about what each one of us got. Um, the one that I've got, which is the longest, the long tray, is gonna be like a barbecued beef patty and a spicy um, Korean pork, but moderately healthy. You throw it in the microwave for two minutes, ta-da. <laughs> Melissa over here has uh, a nice standard bulgogi and rice. So I'm opening our samgak kimbap and one thing to note is there are numbers on the triangle on how you open it. So for example, this one is a number one. So I pull this down and take that off and then I can pull either two or three. It doesn't really matter, but this is side two, this is side three. And then for Chuck and I, neither of us are very huge fans of the actual seaweed. So we gently so. pull that off. I told Chuck I was a little bit sad because what I really wanted to be able to find today was the standard one that I used to eat when I first got here, which is a um, tonkatsu one. Oh, which is pork cutlet. Yeah, and that's my favorite, but I like bulgogi too, so. We have microwaved all of our stuff, so you can, this is a, a good way to have a cheap, good hot meal because each one of these is, Anywhere from three to 5,000 won, so you're talking... Sometimes a little more expensive, depending upon what you're getting. I think about the most expensive I've ever gotten is like, is like 5,000, 5,500 won. I've seen a 7,000 won. Ooh. Yeah. But That's so, a fancy. Fancy. Store. So anyway, you're talking anywhere from 275 to six bucks for microwave meat, veggies, and, and rice. These are the mandu. We're not exactly sure what's in it. We looked at the ingredients. We think it's kimchi and pork, but it also said there was some shrimp in it, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna be very careful. It's definitely kimchi. No, that's like kimchi and spicy pork. It's a spicy one. Hmm. So, not bad. So probably the shrimp is what was in the kimchi itself, maybe? Maybe the shrimp might be in the kimchi, yeah. Let's see what my greens are here. That's a bit spicy for me. Yeah, that's just greens. It looks like just greens. Normally it's like some sort of like marinated um, spinach or something, but this is just straight old collard greens. Is that garlic you've got over there? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Okay, I couldn't tell if they were mushrooms or garlic. Bean sprouts. She's got bulgogi, which has got mushrooms and carrot and onions in it. Let's try some spicy pork. Spicy pork. Mmm, not good. Really spicy? Mmm. Mmm? No, it's not really spicy. How'd you get spicy pork that's not spicy? Mm. It's got a good flavor to it. Yeah. All right, well that's, that's good. I like that. So. I gotta try my beef. That's actually not bad for a beef patty. So that's good. I will get back to those in a little bit. All right, so talking with my mouth full. So impolite. So she got the one with uh, soy sauce bulgogi in it. I got, let's see if I can do a clean tear here. Uh, no, not really, there we go. If you can see it, I got Spam and Mayo. Which, isn't that your favorite one? Yeah, 
which is weird because when I grew up, you kept a can of Spam in the back of the cabinet, and when you could see the Spam, it was time to go grocery shopping. Uh, they prepare Spam differently over here, or it's canned different or something. But yeah, creamy Asian mayo and, and Spam with this uh, seasoned rice is, it is a good bit. But so, yeah, here's some Korea for you. You can go get a perfectly good meal for, say, what was this, like five, five, ten. That was another four, fourteen. Those were two or three each. Two or three each. So, granted, it's still twenty bucks, but for twenty bucks, you it's can a get lot of food for twenty bucks. Two bentos, a side dish, and that can either be an appetizer or a dessert. And honestly, we got more than what we probably will eat in this sitting because we wanted to show you some of the options. Mm. This is a lot of food. Neither neither one of us needs to be eating this much rice in Hon one sitting. Honestly, one of these is a meal. Because these, these are the, like the double size ones because they didn't have the ones we wanted in regular size. These by themselves can be a, a snack or a, or a small meal. But so there's some Korea for our We Live in Korea channel. <laughs> hey, we do have Korea on our channel, but we did realize today that we haven't done a whole lot of our, because COVID. We've been doing a lot of cooking and computer stuff and I've been trying to do some gaming to fill in the gaps because because we haven't been able to get out we, could, we hadn't really been able to go nowhere now that stuff seems to be lightening back up we may be able to get out do a little more going and looking and doing that's our game plan see you guys around next time like subscribe do the internet stuff Bye bye